Good morning guys. It's 5.30 in the morning and I'm on the way to the Kruger National Park. Another awesome thing that always happens to me on a trip to Kruger is I break windscreens. Got a chip. Oh, I had a rocket over there and that started cracking. Another big thing hit the windscreen just now. I'm about 30 kilometers from the Punda Maria gate. I'm very excited. It's been quite a long drive. I haven't driven this long by myself in quite a while. So I had a lot of time to reflect. But yeah, very excited for the day to start and for this solo adventure to begin. I'll see you guys at the gate. park is so lush and so green and I think it's gonna make game viewing quite a challenge but I'm up for it I'm gonna head to camp and select the campsite and put down a few things and then I'm gonna immediately head to Crook's Corner it's a place I've always wanted to see but I've never been this far up in the Crook National Park ever so I'm really excited it's so different compared to the south of the park it feels like you're in a complete different area yeah, I'm very, very excited. This is going to be awesome. So I've made it to the Punda Maria campsite. I chose a campsite without power because I don't need any. And I'm just one person. So I took this nice, like a small campsite. Very nice on the fence. I think it's going to be a flipping awesome night tonight. It's beautiful. There's so many trees around here. Going to have nice shade through the day, throughout the day. Yeah, so now it's time to head to Crook's Corner. Okay, so the first adventure of this leg starts. We are heading to Crook's Corner. We've hit a dirt road, which is always fun. I'm about 30 kilometers from Crook's Corner and I must say the road is incredible. I haven't had many sightings, only planes game and a lot of birds, but still the route is really, 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 really beautiful. corner it's stupidly beautiful like it's mind-boggling beautiful I think this might be my favorite spot in the world as of now
you're so thick you feel like you're gonna bump into an elephant around every corner you take it's insane so I've made it to Crook's Corner and it is freaking incredible check this out Almost right here by the viewpoint. There's a bunch of hippos. Seen a lot of hippos coming this way. I would definitely recommend you visit Crook's Corner. I don't know if I don't know why I have never come this far north in the Kruger National Park, but it is incredible. It is it is Words cannot describe how beautiful it is. Really glad I made the trip. Um, I think from the Punda Maria camp it is about 50, 50 odd kilometers. But the drive is amazing. Like it is a must do. Bucket list item. Yeah, at Crook's Corner. You can see where you see South Africa where I am now. Um, Mozambique and Zimbabwe. Amazing. So my next stop is going to be the Pafuri picnic site. I've only heard amazing things about it. I know it's really beautiful. I'm going to stop there and make some lunch and get a cold drink. And then I'm going to head back towards camp. like up here north I've got the whole Kruger National Park to myself there is nobody here I think driving from Punda to Crook's Corner and now to Pafuri the picnic site I've seen one car it's pretty amazing T we need to come have a picnic over here I think this might be the best picnic spot in the Kruger National Park. I'm loving it up north.
It was an amazing day. I love this part of the park. I'm gonna set up camp right now and then I'm gonna make a fire. Then we are gonna eat. I'm gonna do a little bit of work. And then tomorrow we restart this. So what I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave tomorrow morning at 5.30 and then I'm gonna do that complete Mahoney loop if that's what it's called. I think that's what it's called. Um, because I only drove about seven kilometers of it now and it looks like a really nice ride Life is the fullest when you keep chasing down your dream oh when the stars light up the sky here we go to a new three elephants in front of me right now. 